More than four months after that derailment, we're starting to see some change to improve rail safety. Today, there was a proposal of a new rule that would provide first responders with key information regarding hazardous materials in the event of a derailment. Lauren Linder is in Beaver Falls with details. Lauren. Roy's first responders here in Beaver County spent the night in hazmat training. They're always preparing for the worst, but can only do so much. The train derailment in East Palestine sparking a new measure by federal regulators that would help first responders before they even arrive on scene. Driving up to the scene, seeing the flames higher than the trees was almost overwhelming. On February 3rd, Madison, Knox, Bennett and crews from across the region were called to help Ohio agencies in East Palestine after a Norfolk Southern train derailed and burst into flames. It was definitely, definitely overwhelming, like overwhelming to the point of I was so excited, but at the same time kind of terrified to know what we're walking into. Crews from both states had no idea what was burning. Beaver County Director of Emergency Services Eric Brewer says to figure that out, they did air monitoring and used binoculars to see placards on cars. They also checked out an app called Ask Rail, created by the largest freight railroads. Tried to ask rail, it didn't work. Through our research, initially it was flammable liquids that were on fire. The hazardous materials was not involved. They didn't learn what was actually burning until several hours later. Hazardous materials like vinyl chloride. If they had, they may have worn different breathing and personal protective equipment. This was a once in a lifetime event. Now months after the incident, the U.S. Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration announced a proposal that would require all railroads to immediately send details of hazardous materials aboard their trains to first responders within 10 miles of an incident like a derailment. The information would come in the form of an electronic push alert when the railroads learn about the event. Us knowing more information allows us to make better decisions for the public. It's a long time coming for first responders a step in the right direction. For first responders in general, the more information, the better. And as soon as possible. And as soon as possible. Now, the proposal is a response to a recommendation made by the NTSB. It's been sent to the Federal Register to be published at a later date. For now, reporting live in Beaver Falls, Lauren Linder, KDKA-TV News.